On this video, we are going to discuss the concept of opt control applied to life science and medicine. So the the concept of control, if you define uh, in a very straightforward, in a very let's say easy way, it's our ability, which doesn't mean a human, such as you can uh, what to control, to control influence the behavior of a system. So control necessarily means that you have a system. So remember that a system is a a system is a is a closed part of the environment. So you have here an uh, environment such as you have uh, uh, trees, you have uh, people walking around, you have uh, 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 bird flying. So you uh, somehow you need to to control to somehow to study this. Uh, the system. So uh, there's everything around here, but you decide to choose a piece of the system to be studied, such as uh, there is a, a set of grass here. You want to study for the photosynthesis of this grass. So for that, you need to create a, a boundary around. Nowadays, this concept of boundary has been eliminated somehow. Now we have some kind of, of weak boundary, but not to keep you our, our discussion simpler and easy to understand, let's, let's just say that you have a boundary here. What's happening around you is not important, just impossible what's happening inside the system. So in order to control the system, you should be able to apply some kind of stimulus. In, in our case of, of photosynthesis, you, you, you somehow you calculate that the, the highest amount of the, the higher is the amount of the, of the, of light that you that you that you allow to come in the higher is the amount of photosynthesis such as you can be you can study this, this system here all over the day in which the the sun goes down and then the sun comes up so you can you you find that the, the photosynthesis is proportional to somehow to the to the movement of the sun. So that all can have a kind of system here that block the sun in a period of time, or in, in the or in let the sun comes in another period of time. So you see that the, the light, the amount of light that you have in a system is responsible for the for the for the success for the output of the of the of the photosynthesis. The, the concept of control in biology mainly became mainly by 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 by, by Jack Jack Loeb. Jack Loeb uh, lived uh, uh, in the in the turning of the revolution. Here was the 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 revolution between the nineteen in the in the twentieth century. Here was the best per period of time for 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 biology, for mathematical biology, you had scientists such as Lamarck, which gave a huge contribution. You have uh, uh, other names that uh, escaped from my, 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 my attention right now, but all of them gave a huge contribution for biology and for for and for the development of the of the of, of now all the modern sense of biology. And the, and the Jack Lobby was a big defender. He was, some, to a certain extent, he was a, a little bit, let's say, exaggerated to, to a certain sense. But every scientist that gave rules, they, they had to be very strong in living the day. He, he had the idea that by all should be controlled. And he tried to apply the concept of engineering. So I believe that most of the influence that we have nowadays, for such as a pharmacokinetics and pharmadynamics, it's all about control. And and if you and if if you see all the revolution that you have nowadays in medicine and the in the biology, all of them has to do with control. It's hidden, but it's there. So the final goal always some kind of control. If it's right or if it's wrong, I'm not questioning that. I'm just saying that you should pay attention that uh, most of the things that you do nowadays comes from the past, from some scientists that gave some effort and so on. There's a, a very nice book that you, I'm going to show you the reference that in, in which the author explained the life of Jack Slop. It's a very nice book. I think it's worth it to read, even for a, for to understand about mathematics. It's a very good reading. So 
So here I'm, I'm as I told you, I'm trying to explain the concept of of control. So here I'm try, I, I will try to explain you the concept of control uh, by one example from from, from Brazil. It's a uh, it's a system that's very common in Brazil. I, I'm not sure that in Italy you have this, but in, in in Brazil you have this a lot. It's a uh, it's a very simple, very very let's say very easy system to use. The problem is very simple. We, uh, the, uh, the, in the majority of the city or the small town, we don't have water all the, all the time. So the water is not all available. I mean, it's available in nature, but not for the, for, the, for, the, for the hydraulic system, not for the supply system. So what people do, they, they, they put in their house that the reservoir, that the reservoir, and that the reservoir should be should should keep water for a period of time. So, when you have a small family, the reservoir will be small. When you have a big family, the reservoir will be big. So it depends on the. There is no law against the the size of the reservoir. So it depends on you how much money you have to make investment on the water and so on. So, uh, there are two kind of systems that could get the the goal is to control the amount of water here. So you should not have a water too low, otherwise you stay without water. And you cannot have water too high, otherwise the water will escape. In general, the system here in general stay uh, above the house. So, uh, so here you have the house. This the system stay here. So so if the water escape, it will it will some it, it will fall in the, in the surface of the house, which is not good. It can damage the structure. So uh, so the simplest system is this one in English called uh, spillaway, but in Portuguese called ladrão. So or thief if you translate to English. So this is very simple. The water comes here and escape and fall. It's very simple. It's important to have simpler like that. So the the water are not going to to stay here for uh, above the the limit because otherwise it will, it will, it will, we are going to throw it, it away. The second system is a little bit better, which is uh, the, uh, that's a kind of, of container that, that it's empty. There's just air here. As you know from, from the basic of, of physics, if you put a, a container with air in water, it are going to flow. So it will stay on the surface of water. You have this such a, a, everywhere. So if you put a button, that, that glass case, you have here yeah, a button. Uh, you put a message here and you threw it in the in the in the ocean and that go someone got to find your message. That's a kind of crazy story you can see in the movies. But that's because the you know, there is air here due to the the, the stand of Archimedes, the the Greek scientist, uh, that had to, 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 to flow. There's a force here that makes it flow. So here's the same. Here uh, uh, when the water start comes in it starts to flow. So when it starts flow, it, it, it closes this output of the water. So when the water reaches a, a, a certain a certain height, you this stuff here is closed. So the tap is closed. So there is no water in. When the uh, when the water goes down, this is open. So the water comes in. Extremely simple. So that's the uh, the simple example that comes to my mind of a control system that you use on your day by day life. So uh, so let's go to find a, a, a system in our body. So the, the easiest for me to, to give you, I think that is the easiest way that I can think, is the system composed of insulin, glucagon, glycogen, and glucose. Glucose in this case is our water. So here is our water. This is our glucose. Why is it water? Because glucose is, is more like the, the same story. It cannot be too low. It's called the, it's called the uh, hypoglycemia. It cannot be too high. It's called the hyperglycemia. Hypoglycemia can be very dangerous because your brain needs energy. Hyperglycemia can be very dangerous because it can cause a stroke. It can cause cerebral medical condition that is not very it's not desirable. So, uh, if you plot in the graph your your glucose, it has to be within uh, a window. So. 
you have to keep your glucose all over time such as here let's say in hours hours and here is the concentration of glucose of your in your blood so you have to keep it within a window here we, we are you are, are hypo and here we are hyper so we have to avoid both or both of them so glycogenesis is the process of the glycogen synthesis so we have two process one is called uh, glycogenesis you do what's called glycogenolysis so the glycogenolysis and glycogenesis they are two opposite process one creates a glycogen the other destroy glycogen glycogen is the is the battery of the, of the, of life so it's what you keep your energy stored in the liver the, so there's two main two ways you store energy one is glycogen the other is triglycerides uh, in the shape of fat so glycogen is the one that stay in the liver so here let's say you are, you are studying uh, remember that to start control you should create a system here our system is the liver so our system here is the liver so the liver should keep a certain amount of glycogen which is the energy that you need fast energy that you have available so in the case of of, of, of the glycogens glycogenesis we have the store of of, 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 of the glycogen in the case of glycogenolysis we have the breakdown so one makes this this, this reservoir goes up the other makes this reservoir goes down so here in the blood we have the, the energy which is glucose so glucose here should stay should stay in a certain in a, in a certain level so that's a very simple example very similar to the other uh, remember that here in our system we had a state in which uh, this control fails it can happen so there is a less control which is to eliminate the water it's not very nice because eliminate the water cannot be very 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 interesting option you are eliminating somehow it's not very good option yeah here's the same when the system here fails you have sometimes the majority of the case you have called diabetes so the the diabetes uh, people that call uh, diabetic they have what sometimes called the sweet urine so they start to the 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 kidney start to eliminate they start to eliminate the excess of glucose i have uh, written i have prepared recently a webinar which is not for the project it was for another project called called the socratic website it's a website you can go there in my in my channel and you can find a discussion between homeostasis and the in the in the regulation if you are interested more about have you prepared a discussion which is more or less in this in this, in this same 